business day is coming to an end at Davos and it's been remarkable. A few highlights. Thank you. President Clinton, I'm campaigning against female genital mutilation. It's a great call. It's for men that... Yeah. I'll follow up. Thank you Bless so you. Much. My heart is going. That was fantastic. He's promised to follow up. Um, he said it's a fantastic cause and if I can get into the Clinton initiative that would be wonderful and I think he will follow up so that's great. I had 10 minutes with Klaus Schwab who is the founder of the World Economic Forum. Again he was very much behind me bringing this cause here. First I think in order to, you, to solve those issues you need really to engage all stakeholders and uh, it's uh, of course the NGO community, it's business, it's uh, politics, it's the young global leaders. So that's one necessity to really make progress. I met Paolo Coelho who is a personal um, guru for me and just to see him in the flesh, have him shake my hand so warmly is amazing. That I vote for you, I think that, so I'm so glad when I saw the result. A really inspirational meeting with Jodie Williams who has won the Nobel Peace Prize for her work on landmine campaigns. If you are consistent and transparent, which I I never say anything in secret. I say whatever the hell I want. If people don't like it, it's tough. Don't come listen to me, right? Um, but always transparent. Always follow through with what I said I was going to do. And even if they didn't like me, the opposition, the military, they respected me because they knew that I was a, a person of my word. Anthony Mbeu talked about global health research and just how little data there is but also how much little is known about the real health impacts of FGM. And lastly, a couple of media interviews, um, CNN, Associated Press TV, I spoke with the BBC, with the Sunday Times. Um, so a lot of coverage going on, hopefully just getting the word out and spread in a wider way.